circular economy is the antidote to the linear economy, whose cycle of take, make, and waste can't last forever. A circular economy is designed to use resources for as long as possible, after which they're recovered, reused, and waste is nearly eliminated. This notion can also be described as closed loop, cradle to cradle, or zero waste. One of the coolest examples of how a circular economy can work is in the city of Kallenberg in Denmark. A symbiotic network of companies incorporates each other's waste products as inputs to their own industrial processes. Waste steam from a power plant is sold to a pharmaceutical manufacturer, and the same plant recovers gypsum to sell to a drywall company. They power their facility with gas from a neighboring refinery, and the refinery happens to have a surplus of cooling water that they sell back to the power station. There are up to 30 different exchanges of materials and energy, and the companies benefit from the performance advantage because they're buying resources at a lower cost than their competitors. So how can this work in product design? One example is when Bressler Group helped a client who makes wire and cable tackle the problem of shipping reels. Wooden reels are the preferred solution for shipping industrial wire in the US, but because of their size, it's prohibitively expensive to ship them back for reuse, and they end up in a landfill after only one use. We designed a four-part modular reel that's easy to assemble and breaks down for return shipment. You can fit 20 of them in the same space as a single assembled reel, creating a cost advantage for return and reuse. The new solution has a life cycle of 36 shipments, and the company has a take-back program to repair and recycle used reels at the end of life. This product was successful enough that our client started a side business to sell it to other wire and cable companies looking to spend less money on reels and lower their carbon footprint. Some keys to product design for a circular economy are efficient use of materials and energy, use of recycled and recyclable materials, and design for repair, take back, disassembly, and upgrade. These ideas are rooted in studying material flows in nature. There's no such thing as waste in living systems. They're totally closed loops. Currently, design for a circular economy is more widespread in Europe, where new laws are requiring manufacturers to take back products at the end of their useful life. It's suddenly in those companies' best interest to design products that are easily disassembled, recycled, or fixed. In the US, the growth of the sharing economy is contributing to a shift in how consumers think about ownership and how businesses think about product development. Shared products need to be more robust and easier to repair, notions that are closer to a closed loop outlook and in direct opposition to planned obsolescence. Do you have a product you've extracted considerable value from? How does its design help you do so? Changing our mindset to prize these types of products over easily disposable ones will help manufacturers get there too. Thank you.